Jack here, and I'm looking at this Vever laboratory style trinocular compound microscope with a 40 times to 5,000 times magnification range. Now, full disclosure, this was sent to me for an honest review. In just a moment, we'll pop it open, show you what you get in the package, and talk about some of the functions and features of this neat laboratory style microscope. Go ahead and slide it out of the box. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you look for the side that's labeled up. We'll go ahead and take that off like so. You also get a really nice and detailed Vever microscope manual. Be sure to check this out to learn exactly how to use a microscope like this. There's a lot of functions and features. It's a little more on the complicated side, but that's because it's a versatile and powerful microscope. We'll set this aside. Inside the package, you've got the microscope itself, as well as a bunch of different lenses and accessories that will again help you get the most out of the microscope. The microscope also features this handy phone mount, which you can attach to actually take pictures of what you're looking at through the microscope. There's a bunch of accessories included with this kit as well. Now the microscope is wall powered via an AC plug. We'll set that aside and we're gonna go ahead and pull everything else out of the packaging. So here's a quick shot of everything you get in the microscope kit, including the microscope itself plugged in and powered on, as well as all the different magnification lenses and adapters, the phone mount, the accessory kit. Again, I'm not an expert in any of this, but do check out and consult the manual as that's gonna help you a ton. Now, one thing I've noticed, and I've used a few different microscopes throughout the years, but this one is a very heavy duty, sturdy one. I really like how easy it is to move and adjust the platform here, and you can really dial in exactly where you want to see on the microscope, which is also a really nice touch. A lot of the cheaper ones, it kind of moves around a little bit, or it's not as solid. This microscope is very solid and very easy to use. You can see how easily this rotates. You've got the third viewing piece here up at the top for your different camera attachments if you want to take photos that way. Now the main eyepiece of the microscope can be unlocked and rotated if desired, which I think is great for dialing in the comfort and having it exactly how you want. And one thing I love about this microscope is it is binocular, which means you can look through both eyepieces at the same time and the angle is adjustable as well, which is a really nice touch. Now you can remove the lens caps by pulling them out like so, and then it's up to you, but you can insert the different size lenses into the eyepieces as well. You won't be able to use the microscope without picking these eyepieces to put in there. So do be aware of that. So you go ahead and you can see we can slot that one in like so. We can slot this one in as well. Now, if you wanna use the included phone mount, we're gonna take this guy, put it on here slide the phone mount on, and then we can attach and tighten our phone. And I've included a photo here to give you an idea of what that might look like. Now it's super easy to get great images with this microscope because of all the different fine tune adjustments and the coarse adjustment and all the different easily controllable knobs and adjusters. For example, this one here for the height of the microscope. Now do be careful that you're on the right lens as if you have one of the longer ones selected and you pull this up, you could actually run into your specimen. So just do be aware of that. You also have adjustments here. For example, this one moves the tray left and right, and it's also got a forward and back adjustment, which means once you have a specimen in and you're looking through the microscope, you can use those knobs there to really move it around very carefully and dial it into exactly what you wanna look at. Now, attaching a specimen is really easy. You're just gonna put it on your slide, and then based on this here, opening and closing, it will tighten it in place, and then you can move, again, move it around as needed to zoom in and get the perfect viewing angle. There's also a height adjustment at the bottom here, which allows you to dial in the light exactly how you want to. Now you can see here, there's the frosted glass tray, which slides in and out. And you'll see how the light is changed as I insert the frosted glass, which just makes it a little bit softer. In addition to that frosted glass, there's also an aperture slider, which allows you to close out the light all the way or open and close it to get the desired amount of illumination. All things considered, if you're in the market for a laboratory quality style microscope, I think this trinocular compound microscope from Vever is a really solid option. Whether you're looking at this for education, for science or research, or your own work, I think it'll do the job. Some of the specimens that I've been able to look at through this microscope have been really exciting and amazing and interesting. If you're in the market, I think this Vever is a solid option. I hope this video helped your purchase decision. Thanks for watching.